Hey guys, Dano921 here. Welcome back to my modded Minecraft survival let's play. I can't remember what episode number is, but it doesn't really matter because exciting things are happening. So, as you can see, I've actually moved my stuff from up here, uh, where it used to be, down underneath here. So, things are going a, a lot nicer, a lot smoother down here. Um, these still aren't ready to be done yet. That one is. Because um, I basically put th things into these tanks to uh, to get them moved, so I didn't lose it. So, at the minute, uh, this is obviously draining, because I don't want to lose that 8,000 miller buckets, because that's quite a lot. Um, so, I'm... Well, the worst thing is sugar, so... Um, so I need to get that going. Also, wheat is now a problem. Um, yeah, we... I don't know if we're going to have enough, because um, it has gone down, but I have been doing stuff with it, because um, I've put wheat in there and everything. Now, this isn't actually getting the biomass. Why, why is that not getting that? It's because of that. There we go. Um, so, yeah, apparently that was a thing. So, this is going to use a bunch now. Um, as you can see, it's going down very, very rapidly. But, um, once this is filled up, because I believe all it needs to do is fill that, because uh, we also have all this, which I kind of wish we could pump that back into here, but we can't, which kind of sucks, because we've got a bunch of it there. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sucks quite a bit, actually. But there's not really a whole lot we could do unless we took that out. And just did that for now. Um, and wait till that basically drains all of that, which is going to be a while. Um, so, hopefully, once this gets all the ethanol in here, it shouldn't be running but that's going to take a while and probably use up a bunch of wheat. Uh, yeah, we've only got eight left, so a little bit of a problem there. Um, and I think I'm going to actually go ahead and use this because I'm slightly worried about that. Also, I've turned my render distance down massively because... For some reason, this base, <laughs> this base is lagging worse than the old one. No idea why. I think it might be the sheer amount of stuff that I've got going on here. Um, but yeah, I'm basically running quite low on wheat, which is a problem. Um, I may end up just going ahead and using the ritual here, um, which will help out things quite a lot. But, uh, yeah, I decided to turn the fog distance down because we're going to be down here for most of this episode anyway. Um, so, things that have happened. Well, we've got quite a few of these now. Um, they're all different, I believe. Uh, if not, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But there is a machine that we need to put those into now, which I believe is the sequencer. Uh, this machine down here. So we need to feed those into that machine, which shouldn't be too difficult. Um, now there is the there is a polymizer, I, I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, polymizer. That will basically make these go from very faint to faint to normal to strong to very strong. I think that's what it is. But it will basically mean that these will go in the sequencer and speed, do the process thing a lot quicker. But I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I mean, we are going to need the polymizer eventually anyway. And look how bad the lag is in here. Um, I think I'm probably going to have to uh, end the series once I've finished with these bees because this is just getting too, too bad. Um, and I might look for a way of not having so much stuff. Um, go for more of a minimalist thing next next series. 
Uh, but sequencer, uh, we should have everything because I believe I already did it. And there is one more thing that we're going to need now, which is uh, made in here. And I already know the recipe because uh, I already looked it up. So it's that and I believe water. Um, I just want to have a look. Um, yeah, it's two buckets of water. I thought so, but I wasn't too sure. Uh, so let me grab my bucket. So one and two. Also, once I'm here for a bit, the lag seems to go away. I think it might just be all the pipes and all the AE stuff moving around and everything. So I might have to kind of lower that a little bit. But first and most importantly, I'm going to have a look at this genetics mod because I may end up just going straight into this kind of thing, um, like the farming side of stuff. Because these bees, ooh, that's bad. Um, yeah, lag's really bad at this point. Um, really don't know what's happening with that. I think my world is trying to just eat itself. But I may end up just going straight into that kind of stuff because um, you can get all the different types of bees that will um, give you diamonds, uh, emeralds, gold, all that kind of stuff. So I could just make a massive bee farm and have a, like a bunch of different bees but that would obviously take a long time to sort out um, going from scratch I mean it's been well quite a few hours to get to where I am right now anyway um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and destroy this chest and I want to put that there instead so uh, this needs power which it should have I thought wants to take it off. Uh, so this has now got power. We also need purple dye DNA stuff, which is in here. So I'm just going to rub it from this because this will replenish it. That's if it can. No, 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 no. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. It doesn't use that, does it? It uses something else, which we need to go back to the base and make. Um, it uses, uh, what was it, uh, that's it, fluorescent dye, so glowstone, orange and yellow, so we can make that, um, okay, so, let's put those in there, so, I can't spell, um, die, it's easy to do that, so we got that, and then I want a way to make the orange die, no, cut, cut the, cut, get bit, get bit. let's just click on that, so we've got the orange flower, or we've got red and yellow, so red and yellow is going to be a lot safer to use, um, because Those I've got a bunch of. Or at least I thought I did. Hmm, um, lily. So how do I make red dye then? Apart from poppy. Ah, that's it. There we go. That's what I was looking for. So yeah, we've got a bunch of these, and we've got a bunch of yellow flowers as well. So that should be fine. Uh, duh, duh, duh. So we can now make fluorescent dye. So let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. 64. And it can craft it, so while that's crafting, we shall head over here. Now, I'm not going to automate this purely because um, if we look at this cable, yeah, we're on seven of eight. So 
that's a bit of a problem. I may have to upgrade that to 32, but, well, we don't have the wool for it. We've only got 370 that I don't think that will be enough, but it should be fine. So, uh, we need to put this in here, and then what we need to do is, I'm gonna get the traits that I want first. Uh, not that one. Lifespan shortest is one that I want. Um, production fasts, another one that I want. Uh, da, da, da. Flowers, can have that one. And lifespan, do we always have? Yeah, we already had that one. Right, so simply put these in here and over a fairly large amount of time this will well as you can see it's just hit one percent it's going to basically take this and it's going to because uh, it's as you said genes will be sequenced by down nine to one so that means that it is that will be bound to me uh, and it will go into this gene bank of mine and what that means is then I can go ahead and recall upon that gene to go ahead and do whatever I want with it, which we'll get to after this is done, but this is gonna take a long, long time, which kind of sucks, but you know, I'd, I'd rather do it this way, the proper way. Um, so yeah, we've got all these, these are all different ones, so Eventually we're going to have all these done, but for now it's going to not be anywhere near done. Uh, I suppose I could... How do I want to do this? Um, I suppose I could put it there, couldn't I? Grab that. No. So we could do that. And then we can just shove those in there, because that will hopefully... Yeah, that will put those in there. It's fine. So once all this is done then, um, we will have quite a few sequences, but as I said, that's going to take a long, long time. So let's get the next machine. Um, we're not going to be able to use it just yet, but I do want to show it off because uh, there's a couple of cool things that it does. So... Let's go. I really don't know what is what it is with this base. It's just really, really not very nice. Um, so we want this polymizer. Now, can we make it? We have everything apart from the middle three, which aren't that difficult to make. Should have everything we need. Yeah. So we can make that. Boom. So I'm going to take this over into our little lab um, that's kind of why I did this downstairs bit here as well by the way because it is kind of like a little lab of mine uh, and for now I'm just going to plop it there so you can see what it does right so what we do oh, is we there's two different tanks there is one for DNA and there is one for bacteria um, the DNA one obviously just uses that the bacteria however is not the bacteria that you thought it would be that one it is the polymerizing bacteria now to get this i don't actually know i don't know how we get it up it's the same kind of thing as this um to, to get this bacteria but you would add something else i can't remember we'll we'll see it when we get into it if we get into it this series because i may have to cut it short because the lag is ridiculous um, but basically what you do is you would get one of these, uh, put it in there, then it would go keep doing the process and it would basically make that stronger. Now you can also do this with the other things like these, the serum array, which I'm not sure what that is, um, but whatever, um, and these apiarist serum. So basically what you would do is you would take this serum well you would take an empty serum bottle 
Um, and then you would have uh, the genes here and you simply get the empty serial bottom, place it over the gene and click and then the serum will go into that bottle. And then you take it over here and put it through and it will get stronger and stronger and stronger. So basically what we've got is we've got DNA put into it which was from there from the tank and we've got the what was it polymerizing bacteria. So how do you make that? Well it's actually really simple. Um, let's just grab some bone now and that should do that will be fine. You simply just put the bone meal in there. It's bacteria and bone meal. And it will create polymerizing bacteria. So it's fairly simple. Uh, you can just use your older setup if you really want to. Or you can create a brand new one for it. Uh, depends if you've got the materials for it really. Mainly wheat. So we've got both those in there. And the third thing I want to go ahead and put in. Is I wonder if these will work actually. I don't know if they're going to work. No, they, they don't work, unfortunately. But that's fine. Uh, so we just put those in. And as you can see, we've got gold nugget in there. And put those away. So, these do a couple of things. These will make... Basically, they'll make things quicker. Um, and as you can see, we've actually got a blank sequence. Which means one of these is done. So, yeah... Um, first of all I'll show you with this so pretty much put it in and it will go through and when it gets to the end this will be I believe faint I'm not 100% sure but it uses it a little bit it doesn't use too much which is quite nice um, so we don't have to worry so much about it which is always very useful but once it gets to the end, as you can see, it's gone to fight. And the bar, I believe the met that's metadata. I believe. Um, yeah, that bar, anyway, that's gone up. So we can do this all the way up to very strong. Or we can just take it out. I decided to go ahead and take it out. And I want to put it in there. Alright. So the other thing that we can do is, if we have a look in the gene database now, we have this. So this is um, our B thing. So basically this finished and it just went straight in here because it was, well, it was me. This is mine. So if I was on a server or something, I would be the only one that got this. Um, so what we can do is we can go ahead and go and make something. Also, blue fog for some reason. That's interesting. Um, so we can make something. I can't remember what it was actually called. Um, that's it. Empty serum vial. Uh, empty serum vial. And fairly, fairly simple. So let's just go ahead and make that. And what we can do is if we get the vial from our inventory. And there we go. Left click to assign gene. So we left click and that serum now has the gene of flowers. So we can go and then put this into here and that will obviously make it stronger and stronger and stronger. Now I may end up putting a bunch of these in a system or a chest or storage or something like that. Just because it would be easy to do that. Um, also, I can show you... How, oh, I can't because I can't like that. I, I was going to say I can show you how slow it actually goes without the nuggets, but I can't. But as you can see, these actually get charges. I thought they got better, but now these get charges. So that means we can use it, obviously, one time. Um, and then we need to... Give me a second because I don't actually know this bit. Ah, we need the inoculator, which I don't believe I have. So, unfortunately, that's going to have to wait until next episode. If there is a next episode. I do want to show you guys this, but... As I said, I mean, I'm down to... 
uh, three chunks now my render distance and I'm only getting about 30 frames which is really bad I honestly have no idea why it's acting so so problematic I mean I've never really had this problem before um, I mean yeah it does get laggier the more stuff you get but I'm, I don't think it's ever been this bad um, so yeah what I might have to end up doing is having a bunch of different bases have like an ag agricultural base have a magic base and things like that obviously I will use different aspects of them together but for the main part I think I'll do something like that but that's going to be it for this episode I don't know if this is going to be the end I may well I will I'll probably end up trying to record another episode if it gets too bad then I'll probably just scrap it but if not you know you'll see it so that's going to be it so I want to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time